Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. <laughs> welcome back. Or welcome for the first time. I'm going to do this 10-minute monologue based on a random word. Uh, this time, I pulled a book off my shelf. It's my buddy Mark Steele and his book, Flashbang. But I'm not going to use the word flashbang. I'm going to use the word minutes. The word is minutes. Minutes. Well, first of all, I know i got to do this in 10 minutes. Set a timer for 10 minutes. Think about this. Okay, um, 10 minutes and counting. Aren't we always counting the minutes? I feel like our world has been broken down into minutes. You know, I <laughs> way, way back when I was a boy in 1933, uh, we would get the newspaper by Pony Express or Carrier Pigeon. Uh, but, but seriously, it was, uh, you wouldn't find out what was going on in the world maybe once a week, or if you really were in the know, I think around in the fifties, sixties, people were getting the newspaper every day. People were seeing the news every night. So maybe every 24 hours. And I know people complain about the, uh, the 24 hour a day news cycle now, what that's done to our society. But I think it's, uh, everything, everything is, I feel like time used to get broken down into days and maybe hours. But now it's broken down into minutes. I think things are... I love how convenient things are, but, you know, maybe they're too convenient? Maybe? Because now things are so convenient, uh, if you are not also convenient to the minute, you are deemed inconvenient. I've talked about, um, you know, people that get um, a little out of sorts if you don't text them back right away. Uh, there's also, um, look, I, I, I will get upset about how slow the movie business works. The movie and TV business, which is what I am still trying to be in, um, <laughs> I'm still slugging away at. Um, you know, you got to wait. you got to wait like weeks to get a meeting. And then that meeting gets pushed another week. And all you want is an hour of their time. It's usually to take a meeting with, uh, you know, just just someone in development, somebody at a studio, somebody who might have a project for me or I might want to pitch to them. Weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks to just have a conversation. Um, I guess everybody's in line, so you got to wait. And um, but then I think, well, what's funny is once you do get the project, once you do get the client on board and you actually have a job. Then they want you to respond in minutes, minutes, you know, there's a, there's a particular project I'm in development on now and it is, uh, I, I'm just not, I'm not gonna throw anybody under the bus, but it took weeks to get this certain person to email me back. Now, this is a person that is functioning within the development of this project. And now that it's this person's kind of spotlight on, on what they're doing in the job, um, they literally are firing off three or four emails per hour saying, I need, in caps, I need your response to this in the next 10 minutes. <laughs> I'm like, now? Now you do? Uh, but I, I feel like uh, in many industries, in many jobs, uh, it's all broken down to minutes. Um, and of course, when you're getting paid by the hour, uh, you want your time card to reflect the minutes because those minutes add up. Minutes are the pennies of time. Aren't they? I don't know. Maybe you're watching this internationally and pennies aren't relevant to you. Gosh, I hope so. Oh, man. I hope I've got fans in India and Germany and Poland, but I probably don't. I, I you know, for, for, for the 45 people that tuned in today, I don't know. Um, pennies are the minutes of money. And minutes are the pennies of time. Can you put that on a plaque for me? Somebody put that on a t-shirt. Pennies are the minutes of money. And minutes are the pennies of time. Maybe that's just a song lyric. <laughs> can, can some folk musician put that to music? Minutes are the pennies of time. Minutes are the pennies of time. Oh, You know, because we're we're spending them. When we're, we're spending minutes, and we all have the same amount of time, too. Isn't that weird? 
you know, people that try to help you really be efficient and kick your life in the butt, they'll say, you know, it doesn't matter if you're rich or poor, we all have the same amount of time. None of us can get back our time. None of us can buy more time. And honestly, sometimes when I am stressed about a particular project or script I'm working on or any task and somebody says, what do you need? I usually say more time, more time. Uh, the word is minutes, though. Minutes. I think uh, we all remember in our history books, the Minutemen, right? They had to be ready in a minute. <laughs> There's a job where the title alone is pressure. Congratulations, you're a Minuteman. Like, can I be like an hour man? You know what? You give me a call, I get dressed, I get a hot cup of coffee. You know, we'll get this thing going, you know, 45 minutes, 60 minutes tops. I'm your hour man. No, you're the minute man. You get that three-quarter hat on in 35 seconds, you get your, your super tight britches and your marching band uniform on, and you get out there with your little bayonet 60 seconds because you're a minute man. And if they were minute men back then, like, wow, probably now that we'd be hiring second men or second women, which is important. Where were the minute women, huh, in history? Probably unseen, probably not talked about. We need to learn about the Minute Women uh, as well as the Minute Men. Uh, I don't know. Uh, minutes are tough. And minutes are always going by. Minutes are going by right now. I'm trying to think of other times in my life where, um, you know, like when I'm making food, I literally watch the minutes and seconds. I watch the seconds go by on a microwave timer. And I'm like, Food. I want food. Close it. Hit the minute button. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I may be thinking of something else, but then I look back at it. Eh, it's 45 seconds. So who am I to talk, you know? I get bored that I got to wait 45 seconds for my coffee to get hotter. Um, minutes, minutes, minutes. Yeah. And I think that sometimes when I am uh, uh, doing a task or I'm like waiting at a red light or I'm pumping gas, I'll just start counting. One, two, three. Four, five. I don't know why that is. I have a weird mental thing where I got to count. Because I just want to like let myself know these are the seconds that have passed. It's something to do. It's almost like breathing in and out so that you don't like try to overmanage the moment. But I never count, you know, I'm, ne I'm never like aware of the minutes. I'm aware of the seconds in those situations. When I'm pumping gas, when I'm heating food, when I'm at a stoplight. I'm more aware of the seconds. So maybe seconds are the pennies of time. Maybe minutes are the quarters of time. Yeah. Seconds are the pennies. Seconds are the pennies of time. That's not as good of a song lyric, though. The camera stopped, and it was not my fault. Something about dropped frames on the edit program. So it froze, and that broke my rule. Uh, but I was trying to wrap up my talk about minutes because I only have literally <laughs> a minute left. A uh, minute, 20 seconds. So what is that? What is that in this new concept I've come up with? Uh, 25 cents plus 22 cents? A minute 22 would be, yeah, that'd be 25, 35, 40, 45 cents. I got 45 cents left. Wasn't there a movie with Justin Timberlake by the director of Gattaca? where time was negotiated. You could buy and sell time and it showed up on your wrist. Oh, what was that? I I, you know, I can't open up INDB right now, but uh, it's a movie I never uh, got all the way through, but I, it is an interesting concept that I believe the currency of our lives is time. Um, so be conscious of that. Be conscious of what you put your time into, where you're spending time, because it is literally currency that we're spending. Um, and not to make you like me, where you're counting at a red light, but like that you're aware. You're aware of the time you spend and that it has value. Uh, especially if you have kids, man, just don't be at the playground checking your phone. I've been guilty of that. You know, it's precious time. They grow up, it goes fast. Um, so spend that, spend that wisely. Uh, I don't know if the time you spent with me right here, right now has been wise, um, but we talked about time and we talked about how we don't have time machines really and it's valuable and um, it's just like currency. And honestly, I don't know what the Minutemen really did. I don't know where they lived. Uh, I just know they were important in my history book. And I know that they wore three-cornered hats and, and marching band uniforms. But, uh, you know, hey, I salute you, Minutemen.
Um, and I salute you guys for hanging out with me. Uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>